Well, good afternoon, dear friends. We are still here in Toronto. It is the start of June and I do have plans of leaving Toronto sometime in the next two months, but I thought that while I'm still here, why don't I make use of this opportunity and show you guys some of my favorite districts. So for today's video, I'm actually going to give you guys a tour of the area of Toronto that I got my start in. When I first moved here, I was living in Kensington Market and there's also uh, the surrounding area of Chinatown beside it as well, which is super interesting. So that's where we're going to head today. Let's go jump on the College Street car and I'll take you guys there. entered Chinatown and this is actually one of many Chinatowns in Toronto. There's uh, one that's kind of further east, I believe it's on Dundas, and then there's actually one way up north in Markham. So this is probably the most well-known one, this is probably the most touristy sort of one, but there are so many awesome restaurants, cafes, little stores in this area, and I actually even love coming here to get Chinese massages. Uh, I've gotten one done that's called Tawina. Maybe I'll actually even show you guys the place where I get it done, and it is amazing. So because we are still dealing with uh, COVID here in Toronto, a lot of restaurants are still closed and are only doing takeout but I think I'm actually gonna try and find some bubble tea because that's one of my favorite things to get in this area. And I'll just show you guys around. Your true mozzarella, like that's actual, like it's a cheese or something, or? Yeah, we use the real cheese to make the mozzarella cheese ball. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll I'll try that one. That's the double roasted frosty, that one, or? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Is that our size on regular size? I'll uh, just get like the smallest size. Alright you guys, I have to say, I've never tried anything like this before. This is a black tea slush with tapioca and mozzarella foam, <laughs> like a cheese foam, and it is delicious. <laughs> so if you guys are ever looking for inventive, you know, sort of bubble teas outside of just the regular kind of stuff, I think this neighborhood is probably one of the best places to find it. So coming up here, they do have a lot of awesome markets where you can get a lot of really exotic fruits.
What's actually really cool about living in Toronto and even though I had traveled a lot before I moved here is that this was really the place where I tried so many different cuisines that I just never had a chance to <laughs> living in the center of Canada where we really don't have like that many international restaurants so when I moved here in Toronto it was just so cool to have all these different kind of cultural districts like as I'll show you guys later in my videos there's obviously like well little Italy for example or little Ethiopia there's a little India um, there's a Portuguese district so there's restaurants really from all over the world Toronto has an amazing culinary scene and this was really the first place where I got to try a lot of things So this place right here is the massage place that I was telling you guys about that I got these incredible massages done by. They're called Towina and oh my god they are definitely a workout. <laughs> it's really even hard to describe how they do it but it is not for the faint of heart. It's actually like a really strong massage but you feel incredible after. Obviously they're closed right now with everything going on, but once these guys open, if you're in Toronto, I would really recommend them. Alright, so now that we've taken a little walk through Chinatown, we are on Dundas Street right now. And we are going to go uh, about a block east until we hit this area called Kensington Market. So as I had mentioned to you guys earlier, uh, Kensington Market was actually the first place that I lived here in Toronto because initially I was moving here with my now ex-boyfriend and we had thought we reserved a really nice apartment in what we thought was a great area of town and basically like two weeks before we were supposed to move here we found out that that was not a good place to live and that building was just not what it showed in the pictures so thankfully we were able to get our deposit back and we decided to just live in this hostel <laughs> that I'll show you guys in Kensington um, for like two months while we got our papers together to like have jobs credit reports um, have references you actually really need a lot of paperwork to get a good apartment here in Toronto so we lived in this tiny room for like two months and we basically had to eat out every single meal because all of our food in the communal kitchen kept getting stolen so I would not recommend this place <laughs> once I show you guys it but we were pretty desperate so you got to do what you got to do
But outside of our sketchy hostel, I would actually say that Kensington Market is a really cool, very different kind of place in Toronto. Um, obviously it's not quite as lively right now with most of the restaurants and stuff closed down. There's some amazing restaurants in this area and some like really great small little bars. So of course I'd recommend you come here when things are actually open, but hopefully you guys can kind of get a sense of the place uh, as we walk around. This place right here is actually an amazing place to get stationery and any kind of prints if you're into that sort of thing. So yeah, right up here we are coming up to the hostel where my boyfriend at the time and I lived for two months and yes, it was such a sketchy place to say the least. I'm actually honestly still surprised that they're operating. But yeah, we basically had to live here because we really didn't have a lot of money. I think we were sharing a private room, private room, uh, for like $800 a month. And I feel like that's actually quite a bit for what we got. Um, so yeah, we had to live here for two months. We had people who were like drug addicts that like lived beside us. We had to call the cops a couple of times. And yeah, even though this neighborhood is pretty eclectic, it's usually pretty safe. Uh, living in this hostel was not a fun time. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As you probably noticed, I have been shooting with a new camera. This is the Sony uh, FDRX 3000, which a lot of travel vloggers use. So let me know if you guys liked this style better or worse than when I usually use my DJI um, Osmo Pocket. I'm going to be trying to keep things a little bit less touristy and a little bit more from a local's point of view, the kind of places that I go showing all <laughs> the cracks in Toronto, not just like the perfect touristy sort of places. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And until next time, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Keep being your own kind of beautiful and I will see you soon. Bye guys.